Hi everyone, it's Anne and Doll, and this is going to be my first tutorial for my Tutorial Tuesday series. This is going to cover magnifying glasses. These are miniature magnifying glasses. I specifically make these for my dolls. Um, my dolls range in size from 41 centimeters to 72 centimeters. So depending on what size doll or whatever use you're going to use these little magnifying glasses for, you can adjust the size of this. As you can see here, I've made a number of these and they all have different styles. Some are simpler than others, some are more detailed depending on what kind of materials you use. Here I have two sizes of magnifying glasses. Here is a larger one at the top and here is a smaller one at the bottom. The larger one is approximately three and one quarter inches in length and the smaller one is approximately two and one quarter inch in length. I'm going to show you how to make the smaller version here and here are the pieces all lined up together. So when you're choosing the pieces you want, maybe your magnifying glasses will be different sizes than these two that I have up here. You will want to look at the size of your doll hand depending on if you are making this for a doll. It's good to use your doll hand as a reference. The two important parts in my eyes when you're looking at the magnifying glass you want to make is what size do you want this handle to be? What, hand, what size length of the handle would be comfortable or look proportionate with the doll hand? So if you look at your own hand, if you were holding on to a handle of a magnifying glass, what do you think is the comfortable length for it to be so that it looks like a proper handle with a proper lens at the top? So depending on what size doll you're using, if you're using these magnifying glasses for dolls, what looks more appropriate for the different sizes? So I came up with these two sizes, which is my general uh, dimension when I make magnifying glasses. And so here at the bottom, I'll be making another sm smaller magnifying glass for my smaller dolls. This is a mini fee hand in normal skin for a typically 41 centimeter to 45 centimeter type of doll. So here is the pieces. Starting on the right, you've got the hoop of a coin bezel. A coin bezel, sometimes um, coin collectors will put a coin inside these bezels for display. You can use it on a necklace, you can use it on a keychain. This is for a penny. So the coin bezel comes in two parts which are going to be both going to be used in the magnifying glass. There's the hoop here at the top and here's the screwing closure. It's got this tip here that splits open and it's got little threads for like a screw so that this one can be twisted on. And that is going to hold the piece of glass for our magnifying lens. Next here we've got a little pony bead in a golden color. And this will be my handle. This is a wooden bead that's been carved, has a carved turn design. Here at the bottom, the last two pieces, the bottom part of the handle, you've got a smaller pony bead, also in a similar color to this gold piece. And here at the end, you've got a watch part. And this will be the very tip of my magnifying glass. Typically, I like to put together the four parts. These four parts would be the actual lens of the magnifying glass, which is these parts holding the glass. There's the neck. The neck, I would say, is these two parts here. It's in between the handle and the actual lens. Then, of course, you've got the handle. And then I always like to have the last piece at the bottom 
to make it look clean would be the end piece. So that would be this little ball here. And here on this larger one, we've got a little jump ring and this little gold piece to hold the jump ring. So you can use it as a keychain or you can use it as a necklace. Here I'm just going to be cleaning it up with that little clock part. Okay, so those are the pieces. What you'll need to use to assemble these pieces here, I use two types of glue. This is an E6000, and with the E6000, since large globules of glue will come out, I always use toothpicks to use and control the glue when I apply it to the pieces. So I'll, I'll dispense the glue on a piece of paper and I'll use this toothpick to just pick up a tiny bit of glue and then apply it to the pieces. Besides the E6000, I use this super glue, this Loctite super glue. I always try to get super glues that say impact resistance on it. And the last item that I use to assemble the pieces are these pins. These are just uh, typical jewelry crafting flathead pins. It could be in any color because these will not be seen. These will be inside of the magnifying glass. These pins run within this handle. It connects the neck with the handle with the end piece. It gives the magnifying glass stability along the length of the handle because the glass portion here at the head of the magnifying glass, it is actually pretty heavy. It's heavier on this end than it is on this hand. So when, let's for, say for example, your doll is holding the handle and you're trying to balance the arms so that it looks like your doll is looking through the magnifying glass. But this glass portion is so heavy, it has the, it has the chance to snap the pieces of the handle it might want to break between the neck and the handle and that's not very good because once you drop this this glass will definitely want to break so this is sort of reinforcing that structure of the length of that handle okay so let's start putting this together 